Welcome back. I'm gonna try to be fast here. I want to finish this area, this episode. I, don't, I can't promise that I can do that. So from here we can easily jump over to... Next area, I think. Oh, come on! Not that I actually lost any progress that way, I guess. Is this all? I thought it was gonna be an ice cream cone. Hey, why can't I hit that guy? I appreciate the new dialogue in this game. It's, so, it's such a small thing, but... I think there's definitely a lot of strange enemies in this game. I guess I can try now since I know there's a checkpoint right next to here. Just make sure you can't actually... That's a... Thank you for that cutscene game. If it is possible, it's pretty tough to... Uh, it's actually really annoying. We placed Harp here. Ex wait a... Wait, hold on a second. Patrick... Are your dentures falling out or something? Do you see what I said? What? Why did that... What was happening there? It's fixed now. Patrick's teeth are coming out of his face. Why is that not happening now? That's weird. Maybe it only happens if he's acting scared. If he's doing a scared animation. If you can make that, it's very tough. You might. Yeah, it's only if he's scared. This one goes boom. If Patrick attacks while he's scared, his his teeth come out. Not really lost right until that? Okay. Ooh, again, again. So shiny. Ooh, a present actually everyone. Activate that one button. I'm trying to work at the socks here too. When applicable. It's kind of weird the game just straight up tells me when the button is out across the I don't think SpongeBob's underwear fits quite right. Well, I can almost go on top of here. Imagine the item was a wall there. Yeah. Yeah, the game basically just tells you you have to follow this precise path here, which is kind of weird to me. There we go. Now, I don't know why that's so far away from where you actually get use out of it, but it is what it is. Oh, and sock. So there's some stuff over there I don't need quite yet. And a glowy plant that I thought was something more interesting for a second. Okay. I think I just go back then for the time being. Well, hmm. Or perhaps I should go through actually that next area because I'm going to need the the stone tiki from over there anyways. So there's no point in going back and getting the stone tiki that I just gained access to. Ah! You fall a lot more straight downwards in this than in the original. Sure gotta carry a lot of stuff around. When you... when you... Sam. This... the later parts, parts of this game, they really just... Pay away money as quickly as you make it. The shiny objects. I don't know how I'm gonna pay for Mr. Krabs in all seriousness. It looks like I'm just gonna have to grind for it. But I don't even know how to grind for it. I'm legitimately not sure what I'm gonna do later for that. Oh, huh. Why does that not lower until you pay for that? Not sure why they did that, but okay. Is there some kind of secret spec that they fixed that way?
Oh. That's interesting. There you go. Wait. I never noticed that. Huh. Wait, where's a place to show this off? There's a place to show off an infant fall. It's not one of those squishy time, time sorts of things. looking for. But okay, so if I could find a better place to do this. Patrick actually has a new animation for... Oh jeez. I'm not trying to do this! In here. Patrick has a new animation for doing a, a, a slam after a single jump. That one seems not to make a... Um, uh, what's it called? A shockwave either. Cannonball! That's an actual cannonball too. It's beautiful. I want to see, I want to see Patrick at some point yell cannonball and actually do a cannonball. I got close once by doing a slant or a belly flop instead, but it's just not the same. That's why I managed to hit him with that. Okay, though. What are you doing there, boy? Excuse me! Oh. You're done for the day? Alright. Well, if you're not gonna aggress me, I'm not gonna aggress you. Oh, right. So shiny! <laughs> Robot go boo! Sock over here. Heading on down. And hello. Ow. Not what I was expecting to happen there. I do want to be slightly more efficient than I'm being here. Honestly, there's no real reason to use that fruit there. Ouch. That's weird. Oh yeah, I forgot, you can attack in the air as Patrick in this game. Oh, he actually, he, he actually managed to work this time. That, okay, game. You saw what happened there. Ugh. Race you. I'm gonna like stand on on the way here. Darn it, that was me being impatient. Well, this is your home now, Patrick. What do you think of it? Patrick goes down really far when he does that animation, my god. I hate how you can turn from open every single time. I really do wonder if I can like stay on top of him as he's doing this. Darn it! Now I'm getting silly and trying to test things out, but I I feel like you might be able to stand on top of that guy and like jump off him or something. Or the really just stand. And if that's the case. Oh, hello. Why didn't you grab that ledge, Patrick? So you can't stand on it properly, or at least it, you can, it'll look like it for a second, but you can't jump afterwards. But you can ride him. You can ride the cowboy. Good double jump animation, Patrick.
Oh, that's weird. Can I tell this one? Can I take three Hey, my back feels better. He says that as he does the... As he starts to flop instead of after he hits the ground. That was weird. I, I hit something as I bounced upwards. Anyways, we spent enough time on this. I said I wanted to do a lot of things this episode, or at least finish this one area. There's, there's a number of things to do in. This one only takes two hits or something. I think I remember that being a thing that always threw me out about... How it arps, actually. Did they take a consistent number of hits or something? Just a rock completely underwater there. That, did that give me as much height as it should have? That's a really tricky jump, okay. Uh, I need SpongeBob to get that, except that doesn't really matter because. Cool, welcome to your new home, Patrick. <laughs> Patrick's gone. Did everything we wanted to do there, I guess. And no actual reason to use that bungee. <laughs> For better or worse. Excuse me. Now then. How many okay. of these do I have to carry? Woo! Up we go! So, now all I need to actually hazard here is, I did exactly that box, right? I didn't see it. That's so good. Perfect. Oh. That's the other box. What? Why? But I already have a way to get back here. I thought the other box led to the, the high portion. I didn't need that. The tricky place to get back up to is up there. Okay. Hard as a rock. Anyways. What's that done? Oh, that also lets us get back to the top area too, that's nice. Well done, son. Next time I need to round up customers for the Krusty Krab, I'll give you a call. Why would the customers want to be made round? <sighs> You're a strange one. You are, Patrick. Okay, I think that's everything that Rick has to do today. Arguably. There is one thing that one might want to try to do as Spongebob. If you're silly like I am. Here's how they address this. So, the idea is, of course, that you go through here as... Darn it! Barnacles. The idea here is that you have to use a Freezy Fruit as Patrick to skate around to the spatula, but in actuality... There's not really much reason not to do it as Spongebob because... Spongebob has a practically straight path from here to... To the spatula, anyways. Let's see if that's still possible. I mean, you do need to to rush a little bit. That's nothing undoable in the original. Out. 
Nice. I, I jumped while I was in the air from getting hit. And that used my double jump. Excuse me. Thank you. Really, this game resetting every single time you enter a, a new room is I'm ridiculous. Just back down and up. Can I skip this scene, by the way? Yes. Thank you. It's nice that they let you do that. Yeah. This was before. There's no reason not to do that at SpongeBob. All right. I want to either pick that up as the as the cage fell, or try to fall into the goo. I couldn't make up my mind. Is there anything I'm missing in this area? Because it is time to call it an episode. Um, let's take a quick look. On this side, to make sure there's nothing I'm missing over here. Sponge up. I don't think there is. I could go down that bungee just for completion's sake. I love opening presents. Oh, sparkly! It's a really underwhelming bungee, though. Honestly, it's so small and short. It's weird that they even had it here because all you even get is some shiny objects. How many socks are left in here? There's one camper, which is in the next area. Two socks. There should be at least one sock in the next area. I think there's a sock on the kelp vine slide as well, which is the area after this one. Or after the, the caves. So I think we've got everything here. And then as for spatulas, we're gonna work on the campers. I'm about to pick up Tiggy Roundup. And then down the swamp, and then we have two in the caves, and then I think two in the vines. I think is how it breaks, how it breaks down here. So then the last question. I have a high suspicion the answer is no. But you never know. Oh wow. They are a little coarse with some of these, uh, some of these walls that they added in here. It actually still stands on this stuff here. That's interesting, you see where the wall actually ends. That's pretty high up. Yeah, not many places you can actually go productively with, with these things. So, in the original, it was... I don't even remember what it was. Somewhere around here? I think you could literally just... Like, jump up on the, on the rocks here or something? And then get all the way up on top. Oh no, I think it was right here. Yeah, I think it was that there were rocks. Because I think right here, this wall, instead of being smooth, was really bumpy. You have a bunch of small rocks I can see up there. And you can climb up those, I think, is what it was. Something along those lines. What's a spike before you bowl, SpongeBob? I don't think there is any way I could feasibly get up there from here. I can into it at least. I mean, I guess that's all to do here. That's all there is to do. Unless you can do some silly stuff on these kelp vines. Which may be, but I, I have my doubts. Nice, that's going through the rock there. Anyways, it's about time to end this episode. By that I mean it's absolutely time to end this episode. I'm just stalling. So. Special look. And what about this tartar? That that might be an issue with my computer instead of the game. That was interesting though. So quick surprise. It's one way to get around. <laughs> Just trying stuff as as it occurs to me, like usual. Curious. I imagine the answer is no again. 
like have here so I can somehow manage to climb around up on this thing. I imagine that it seems though like they've basically surrounded every area in this game with a bunch of invisible walls to varying degrees of success. There's not much you can do anymore to, to do silly out-of-balance things like in the original. Which is sad, but I mean, it's something that they should have done. They should have fixed that like they did, so I can't complain. Alright, but into the ca caves we go then, and I'll end the episode there. Very nice. So, fun fact. The music in here is actually just a slow down, maybe lower pitch or something version of the music outside. But I think it's the only time where you have different music in different parts of a level, isn't it? Is there any other level in the game that does that? You keep bombs always the same music everywhere. I think every other place always has the same music in every area except for the Kelp Forest, where in the caves you have a, a modified version of the same song. Just for this one area, which isn't that big of one. I might spend some time in it if you have a hard time with it. Anyways, I'll see you guys next time. You can save just to give a nice sense of finality to this. Look at all the progress we made since the past couple of episodes. Seven spatulas. Oh. There's nothing like the smell Anyways. of bubbles in the morning. It smells like victory. Yeah, that looks like victory to me, SpongeBob. Hey, everyone.